ready. What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to some more Mad Men. Things are getting crazy. I don't know if I'm going to be reacting to all three episodes of the finale for the season today. I might just, I want to do 12 and 13 together. That's what I want to do. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if I'm actually going to do that, but um, I might just do them three separate just so because I'd only have time right now that I'm sitting down here to react to three to two episodes. So that's the thing. I'm going to have to do 11 and 12 today and then 13 another day. So it's, so it's got it's kind of weird because I only have time to do two today or maybe I should just do one episode today and then do the other two together tomorrow. Kind of a conundrum for me, but I'll figure it out. I think I'll probably just do one episode today and do the other two tomorrow just to do a double upload for the final two episodes of the season because I usually do the two final episodes of the season just as a tradition for the channel. I usually do the two um, final episodes of the season as a double upload. So we will we'll see. OK, we will see. Anyways, guys, if you guys want to see more Mad Men, you know what to do. We're going to jump into this episode here. Episode 11. You know what to do. You know your duties. Like the video, comment. And if you want to see these episodes early, I'm pretty sure by the time you guys are seeing this on YouTube, we're well into season two or even season three because these seasons are not very long. So we'll see how things go. Anyway, you want to check them out. You want to see things early. You want to watch Mad Men and hear my commentary on these videos, man, because Mad Men be triggering you, boy. You know what I'm saying? He be triggering me, the stuff that they discuss. And the stuff that they view and you know kind of like it's kind of hard sometimes because people might even say not to bring stuff from the 50s into the you know what i'm saying the 2000s and 20s you know what i'm saying it's it's a tough but it, the fact of the matter is a lot of the stuff that i'm watching and seeing in this portrayal of the 1950s is still happening today it's still happening today in one shape or fashion you know what i'm saying it's it's just still happening so there's still much to talk about anyways guys thank you guys so much we'll see how things go along let's get into it listen can you mail this for me today sure whitman it's gonna be at least 40 cents Thank you. I wish you could still pay 40 cents to mail anything. <laughs> this is, um, what's his name, ain't it? His brother. Mama, Mrs. Winter is a busybody. I'm working a lot right now. I don't have a lot of time. Peggy, you're I getting fat. You mean your personal phone call? Good morning, Mr. Draper. Peggy, will you give me a glass of ice water? Someone hasn't told the sun it's October. This got kicked over from Ed Bolts at Compton. We sent them Firestone last month because of our conflict with Goodyear. This is how they repaid the favor. Look at that. I think it's a modified Lionel Transformer. Well, I never thought I'd say this, but what does the research say? Weight loss is a hard thing to prove. The electricizer for a slimmer, better you. Well, that helps a little. We tried to get our own testimonials. Some of the fellows brought it home to their wives. And? It's tricky. I uh, gave it to Jennifer. She took it the wrong way. She told me to wear it. <laughs> <laughs> Which is always Violet. the case. You can't. <laughs> she says the scales are the same. I don't know. Listen, she man. On it like she... Listen, man. I don't understand why is it that woman take offense to that stuff. It's It's... It's like, that's a, it's, it's a you thing. You get what I'm saying? It's a you thing. Like, and this is what I, this is what I, I, I say, right? To my girl. This, this, this is what I say. 
um, when I'm talking to her about her weight. Cause she did, she, 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 you know, sometimes it can get a little overhand. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, out, a little out of hand, I should say, not out of hand. It's she, <laughs> she out of here. <laughs> I just remembered something, right? It's a slippery slope. So you don't want to do that. So it's like, for me, I'm not afraid to tell her when she's getting a little too much, right? Um, and she works out. You know what I'm saying? She works out. She try to keep it nice and tight, not too thin, and don't get overweight. You know what I mean? So um, women always, for some reason, the majority of the time, they take it the wrong way. And it's, you know what I'm saying? Like, if you say, okay, I have a product I want to try. You know what I'm saying? I can understand if you would insinuate that if you take it as I'm insinuating that you're fat or you need to lose weight or something. So what? If I'm telling you you need to lose some weight. Listen, man, fat is dangerous, okay? It is, it's dangerous. And especially when you're like a lot of pounds over what where you should be, especially for your height. So if you are short, you should be, you know, try to be thin. You don't have to be toned and muscular and stuff like that. Like I, was, I see some women out here trying to be, you know what I'm saying? It ain't about a flat stomach either. You get what I'm saying? Even though that's nice, you get what I'm saying? That's not, it doesn't necessarily mean that that's where you have to go. That's the best health. You know, you know, that's when you're like super, super healthy, healthy, healthy. But don't take it the wrong way, ladies. You know what I'm saying? We're just saying that because we care about you, man. We don't want to see you get overweight and then develop all these heart diseases and all these other health risks that comes with being fat. Don't take it the wrong way. And that's what, when in the beginning of our relationship, that's what I had to explain to her. I'm like, listen, I try to stay, you know what I'm saying? I still, look, look at this. I can grab it, okay? I don't have six pack abs. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And I'm still trying to even lose as much weight, I'm still trying to exercise and stay thin. You know what I'm saying? Stay thin, stay within the range. You know what I'm saying? I'm like 220 right now. I should be at 180, 190. That's where I should be, right? But I, I'm I'm overweight. You get what I'm saying? I don't look disgusting. But <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like some people get they they get overboard. Like if I ever see myself looking like say i don't know like some people are just they just take it too far <laughs> they just can't stop eating yeah that's not good for advertising that could ruin the the entire company dude yeah she's gaining a lot of weight they're thinking about giving it to her what about her well, she's obviously losing some kind of battle <laughs> She did a heck of a job on Belle Jolie. Maybe lightning will strike twice. I don't think Peggy's the answer. I promised Buckwall we'd go with our big guns. Our big guns have been silent. Peggy! I've seen some of the most beautiful faces on, on, on fat women, man. And, and it's just, it's, it's hurtful to see. <laughs> that's the thing about it like it's hurtful to see because even though you have a pretty face like I i'm a little repulsed at your body <sighs> i mean not i'm actually thinking about it and i think about it like i'm not afraid to tell because all this yeah you know i'm saying people talk about fat shaming you know what it's good for you because i'm trying to help Okay, body positivity is a joke. It's all an agenda to keep women buying stuff. That's all it is. Okay, being fat is not healthy. Okay, it's just not. Okay, me, myself, not healthy. At least not fully. I'm not fully where I would want to be with my body weight. I'm not ashamed to say that. But for some reason, when you say this to women, they lose their minds. Ah! The truth is the truth. I'm not going to encourage you to kill yourself. Yeah, you'd be perfect for it. Why? Of course, going to ask. Why? And we like your point of view. 
and you're fat. <laughs> they don't want to dis- another account. It's an assignment, not an account. You can you you, you can see that it's makeup though. The double chin. Yes. You can see that it's Thank makeup. You. All these things are dumb as hell. Exercise. Okay. Don't buy none of this trial and error stuff. Is she just supposed to, just supposed to sleep in this? Ah. What happened? I wonder if it's the vibration is just like, ooh. <laughs> they sleep before they go to bed. They smoke before they go to bed. No. It's just good. I don't want you to. These two is another story. Thing now. This is hard for me. Mostly because I can't even imagine how hard it must be for you. I don't think about it. I keep thinking about us being together. We are together. I know. Like fully I together. I understand how this works. I told you. I'm right where I'm supposed to be. I'm telling you, my little, my little kinks. Love a woman in red red nail polish. Ooh, don't don't put on the lipstick now. <laughs> I am. Um, I did the work on the weight loss belt, like you asked. That was fast. You asked me to. Jeez. Your unique point of view. I wrote it down. You feel different? I wrote it down. I wonder. I think that thing is giving them pleasure, dude. It's like a vibrator. Peggy, you're saying even less in here than you are now. You definitely feel something that I think some women would like to feel. Yeah, it's like a vibrator. Like she... here. I mean, come on, man. I see that here. Uh, a sensation. Yes. It explains its success. And it basically made me think it was probably unrelated to weight loss. We now have a benefit. Now we just have to figure out how to put it into words. Have another go at it. I will work on that, Mr. Trigger. Peggy, just think about it deeply. <laughs> then forget it. And an idea will jump up in your face. Thank you. The thing about it is that Peggy, she's so pretty, dude. Like... <sighs> I hate to bother you. I don't like fat girls, I'm from the man. Frederick Air Conditioning Company, and I'd like to talk to you about an opportunity to live in frozen comfort. I'm not interested. Could I trouble you for a glass of water? It's a scorcher Isn't this out the here. dude from... Um... I... That was just... Of course. Staying at people's houses and stuff? Thank it's you. gotta be him. It's kind of weird mm. when you invite strangers into your house and then <laughs> they're looking around. It's so weird. Thank you. It's like, what are you, you looking know, at? We have many units in all price ranges. <laughs> Can I come back when he is here? I mean, a, a unit here or in your living room, we wouldn't even have to alter your window. We could just cut a hole right above it. That would be nice. I could take down some numbers, you know, measure everything, write up an estimate, something you could discuss with your husband when he comes home. You know, my husband, I think he would rather go to Sears. That's what you want? You should go. Well, I could just guess what it would cost and put it under the door for when your husband comes home. Please go. Is it a thing that I respect about Betty? Even though Fernando, she has been tempted in the past to case let some things fly, gold, but still believe that most of the credit goes to your rum. She still re remains from me. to have some says it is a modicum of respect for her husband. Yeah, you know I'm saying. I... Are you seeing that goy? That goy. <laughs> well, 
I told you I wouldn't let that stop me. What if he were, um... You're mumbling. What if he were married? My goodness. I feel so natural. I feel so close to him. Really? He's married, but I don't think he's happy. Obviously. You know, we're losing a lot of our cool air through the windows in the dining room. What? Nothing, it's just something the salesman said. You let a stranger in my house? Mm. Don't raise your voice. I damn well will raise my voice. Do you have any idea what could have happened? I could have bought an air conditioner. It's hot. This woman is stupid, bro. Salesman and it's the going... same thing I was the same thing I was thinking of right there. You, woman, please don't do this. The, take take some lessons. Don't do this. I was thinking about that as well. I was like, you don't let people in your house. And if you do, make sure your man is there. Make sure your man is there. If your man's not home, don't let no man come up in your house. Okay? A woman, completely understandable. Even though women can sometimes have bad intentions as well. But men, you just let a man in. I don't care if he's a salesman. No. You with the door. You let him know your husband is not home. You know what I'm saying? Come back another time, whatever the situation is. You don't just let people into your house. And I used to go door to door. You know what I'm saying? I used to go door to door and do sales. I didn't do it for long. Very short period of time I did that. And whenever there was a woman that answered the door, um, of course, you know, not all the time they're married or, you know, have men or whatever the situation is. Um, but for the most part, I usually ask, is there a man here? Son? You know what I'm saying? A son, a teenage son, whatever. Situation is, I will ask. You know what I'm saying? Just out of politeness and respect for the man of the house. That's just me. I know there are plenty of other salesmen out there that don't do that shit. But out of respect and what I understand about dynamics and stuff like that, Usually, if, if if I'm a man, like, I'm here at my house sitting down right now. If a man comes to the door outside, of course, I'll be alerted to it. I have my my uh, my hub right here with the cameras or whatnot. So, anybody that comes to the door, the motion detection is going to pick him up. I'm going to see it right away, right? So, um. If she chooses to engage, she can choose to engage or she will come and she'll let me know whatever the situation is. But trust me, she's not going to let someone in the house without. She's not going to let someone in the house. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Um, not only will I know that it happens without you telling me. Um, the fact of the matter is just out of respect for the man that you live with. He's the leader of the house. He's the protector of you and the house. You just, you don't do that. And I know I didn't stop to talk about it, but you just don't do it, especially. And he has all right to be upset about it because you just don't do that out of respect for him. He's not home. To, he's not there to protect you if something should go down. And you can't make the excuse of saying salesmen go into people's homes every day. No, it doesn't work like that. You never know that somebody could be posing as a salesman. Yes, it happens. I know, but not in my house. Just don't do it. It's hot. Look, you didn't want to spend the money. Good night, Betty. <sighs> There's no excuses for that. <laughs> that works. Welcome back. You look good. Honey. One hour. That's all you get. And you be a good boy. That's the spot. Exactly where it happened. I can still feel it. Oh. It's all the way we brought you here because <laughs> of your discretion. Can you help us with this? His color? Hey, honey. Well, you know, we don't need Miami Beach, but uh, just do what you can do. We should have done this for Nixon before the debates. Oh, the arrogance of that campaign is infuriating. I missed you too. She was Look extremely that worried about. Look at that mouth. 
He Fuck. wants to cry. I want to tell you something because you're very dear to me. And I hope you understand it comes from the bottom of my damaged, damaged heart. You are the finest piece of ass I ever had. Wow. That's it's a, it's a great line. I'm so glad I got to roam those hillsides. Stop it. I mean it. That's not what I wanted. I'm surprised that nobody knows about their relationship. Somebody must know about their relationship. He's very pushy. He came in and started measuring things. Don was not happy about that. Don was there? No. Carlton would break my arm. It was foolish letting him in. You don't just let another man Why would you tell him? into your house. What do you think? And they're not he family. Bruh. He's very protective. As he should be, but fortunately just he's also a cheater. A local color. <laughs> Roger. Oh, Lee. Hello, dog. Lee. Preston. Jimmy. Preston. Mm. How do you do? Wonderful to see you. Well, from what I hear, you boys should all but uh, give me up for dead. I don't think it's wrong for us to express our concern for your well-being. You worried about losing the lawsuit? There were no damages. But we lost. But there were no damages. Blame is one thing. Malice is another. You can't fight them. That's what lawyers are for. Lawyers? I've seen a girl fight harder on a first date than these D.C. shuttlecocks. <laughs> <laughs> so I called Chester Conrad in the Surgeon General's office, and he assured me it would be at least three years before they could compile a report. But legislation is in progress. We hear another year or two beyond that. They speculate they're going to put warning signs on the packages. <laughs> I'm glad we came by. <laughs> I missed you all, you New Yorkers. <laughs> oh, 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 Jesus, not again. Oh. Are you okay? Just give him some air. Oh. Give him some air. Uh. Give him air. Uh. This was stupid. I took the elevator. No, they're holding the elevator. I'm very sorry. I used to think you couldn't put a value on a human life. But I never asked Bert Cooper, did I? Sweetheart. Go to hell, Bert. Man came in sick for a, you made him come in sick for a meeting. Don has everything under control. We Bad for him. Don Draper. But if I was you, I'd find some way to show him that you all do too. Make Is him partner. Man, no. My mom, she wouldn't shut up about you. I told her I remembered you. Is that nice? Oh, piggies. Well, you don't like it? Oh, I'm just looking back. at her like, well, ew. <laughs> them for me. They're usually sweeter. <laughs> There's a bar in Manhattan where the glasses are chilled. What's in that? I don't know. <laughs> the route was expensive, but the hard part was learning that truck. Special license. We have a potato chip account. Uts. You get free ones? I do. I don't know. I don't like potato chips. Really? <laughs> I just got a new account the other day. Where are we? I already wrote copy for Belle Jolie lipsticks. It's going to be in a bunch of magazines. Which ones? I don't think you read them. They're about high fashion. Hmm. Advertising is good. People never think it works. How do they know it does? Did they ever prove that? Why are you insulting what I do? So you drive a truck. You get off the train every day at Grand Central and they spray you with gold? Let me tell you. You can act like you're from Manhattan, but you don't look like those girls. I felt that. 
Hey, hold on. Those people in Manhattan, they are better than us. Because they want things they haven't seen. What? Die. <laughs> They, to be honest, both of you guys were insulting each other. Hello? She wants Hello, to Don get Drew. down and dirty, but Don ain't what up for it because he doesn't really, he's not attracted to her right now. Mr. Draper, you sound hostile. After hundreds of dollars, all you've managed to do is make her more unhappy. All I can say is that it's a process and time is part of it. Now, if you'd like to expedite things, we can put her in psychoanalysis. What are you doing now? Psychoanalytic psychotherapy. Psychoanalysis would mean a minimum of three sessions a week and optimally five. Thank you. Over there. There's no chair. You're presenting. Rejuvenate has a Latin root, which literally means the return of youth. The rejuvenator gives you the flush and glow not only that you might have after hours of exercise, but certainly as a young girl. But what does it do? <laughs> From what I understand, it provides the pleasure of a man without the man. <laughs> We've been replaced? <laughs> That's why Mitch's wife didn't want to take it off. <laughs> Mitch's wife is very attractive. Oh, I... I don't know her. First of all, no Latin. You sound like a valedictorian. And the name still isn't right. Lastly, you still might need to give us a hint at what it does. I was thinking of calling it stimulating. I think you need like a code word, uh, like, I don't know, like refreshing. I'll think about that. Oh my god, Freddie, doesn't your wife have one? What's your point, Ken? It's funny. Freddy? Didn't see Sal? that coming. You jumped you know right into that. I'll get arrested just during the layouts. <laughs> Please don't sit on it. Don't don't sit on it. Don't don't sit on the machine. Don't you dare sit on the machine. <laughs> She is letting her mind wander. Well, hello, Betty. Everybody just trying to satisfy themselves. What? What's going on under your nose there? Mr. Draper, I don't want to seem ungrateful, but I think I could serve Sterling Cooper and you better as a copywriter if I had my own desk. You have a desk. The conversation of a raise is not inappropriate at this moment, but do not be timid. You presented like a man, now act like one. I want five dollars a week more. <laughs> well, that's a 15% kick. Don, a word. I want to make you a partner. As a symbolic gesture, I think telling me that in here is in bad taste. That's the way it works. Roger knows that. I'm not adding your name to the masthead. I'm restoring faith to our clients. Of course, you'll remain creative director. And to fill the position of head of account services, you are the only member of the Blue Ribbon Committee. No contract. <laughs> of course you'd say that. No. So when's he coming back? You know, I think this office is too big for me. I might need it if I'm going to lure in Marty Brennan as head of account services. You know, I admire your work. I believe you. <laughs> I hope you do. And I don't think it can be denied that we make a very good team. Really? <laughs> you know, I think Roger would want me to have it. That way he'll always know he can have it back. I hope you're aware that I'd love to throw my hat in the ring. I am now. You can have your raise. 
And I'll talk to Miss Holloway about getting somebody on your desk while you attend to your assignment. Can I tell her? Sure. Okay, Peggy moving up in the world. I'm all for it. I need back Sexy Peggy. Sexy Peggy was good. Sexy Peggy with the little booty in the back. Hey! <laughs> He definitely works in the mailroom. He doesn't even know who Mr. Dripper is. It's from his brother. Don, you were right about letting people in the house. I'm so sorry. The heat's supposed to break tomorrow. It'll probably be snowing in two weeks. <laughs> Mad Men Season 1, Episode 11. Indian Summer. So it seems like everybody <laughs> want to get some sort of pleasure. I don't know if this is the true story of how vibrators came came along. I don't know. I don't look up the history of sex toys, okay? I, I don't. There's no need to. You know they exist, and that's just what it is. Right? So... This episode is kind of particular because it seems like Peggy got a got a raise. Not only she get a raise, it seems like she got sort of some sort of promotion ish. You know what I'm saying? So maybe she's not going to be um, maybe she's not going to be um, a like a secretary for Don anymore. Seems like she's probably going to end up with her own desk. She kind of wants to throw that into Joan's face or whatever. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Cause Joan's been there for years and she's just been throwing it at these men. She basically just trying to find somebody. And, um, you feel for these people, even though, it, you know what I'm saying? In the emotions of things, you will, you will probably see things that you don't want to see or you don't agree with. I should say, that's more appropriate things that you don't really roll with. You know what I'm saying? Instances of stuff that you don't, you don't really care, um, how it is or whatever the situation is. You do, you, you don't agree with the scenario. You know what I'm saying? You still feel in those moments because you're a human, you know what I'm saying? And seeing two people interact that, you know what I'm saying? I don't know how I would say he really feels about Joan. Cause I think he's just very sexually attracted to her and she seems like she really loves him and that's the reason why i say you know what i'm saying or you will hear other people or other men will say today that you know what i'm saying when men cheat it's different from when women cheat it does not mean and i'm gonna clarify this once again because every time i say this people come at me people always come at me when i say this very thing I believe it to be true, but it does not mean that the woman is wrong and the man is not wrong. Both y'all are cheating. You're both cheaters. Okay. Infidelity is wrong on both sides, but it is different. It means different. A man could have sex with a thousand women and don't give a shit about either of them. It's very hard. I'm not saying, I'm not going to say that it's impossible for a woman to do the same thing, but it's very hard. It's way harder for her to do that because her emotions is all in it. Her emotions is all in it. 99% of the time, 99% of women, they can't do this. They can't just sleep with a man and just forget about it. There's always all women crave emotional connection. Men, not so much. We're more, more logical beings than women. Understandable if you feel different or if you think different, that's fine. But the reason why we speak in generalities is because they do happen. They do happen, right? You see this. You don't have to ask somebody. You get what I'm saying? It's just these things happen and you could see it for yourself even in the show right now they're displaying to you how, especially with joan see she can sleep around all she wants 
But a lot of times it's to compensate for something else. It's never, oh, oh, are we just sleeping together because of this and that and whatever. You get what I'm saying? You see how she forms an emotional connection with, um, with Cooper. Like it was, I didn't even know that it was that strong, but it should have been expected. You get what I'm saying? Because even though, even with the woman that, you know what I'm saying? That, um, that Don is sleeping with right now, other than his wife, even with her, the lady that owns the stores or whatever the situation is, even with her, right? There's this questioning of things and she's thinking and she's lying about it, about how she actually feels about it and whatnot. You know what I mean? Cause she's thinking down the road, oh, she he could probably leave his wife. He doesn't seem happy and all of this other stuff. These is, this is the emotional roller coaster. Even though she thought she could probably go into this with no feelings whatsoever and just, ah, we just, you know what I'm saying? We just having sex and that's it. It all, it's always more than that. It always gets to more than that. Now, I don't know what the emotional connection with Don and her is, I don't think there's anything to it. You get what I'm saying? Like a lot of times men just, he just out here just blowing off steam. Does it make it right? No, it does not make it right. Cause everybody always seems to think that I'm saying that it's, 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 you know, it's okay for men to cheat. No, it's not okay for men to cheat. I'm just saying it means something different. Okay. Two things can be right. Okay. Two things can be right. Get out your feelings. All right. So. In this episode, what I noticed for the most part um, about this episode and this portrayal is that, you know, it seems like Betty is coming to the conclusion because she's like, it seems like it's been a while since since Don had sex with her. And I think that's why she's out here imagining having sex with this salesman that came into the house, which is not OK. You know what I'm saying? The episode kind of opened up something very tragic it seems like don's brother killed himself and he separated himself from it I, I don't remember what episode it was when he came back and he's like listen don't contact me don't try to reach me this is as far as our relationship goes we're done listen i don't know what happened he didn't really go into details about what happened in his family before but apparently he does not like his father and his mother very much right um and he just wanted to separate himself from them. I don't want to say it's both his parents. I don't remember exactly what he, what he, what he, he, he you know, the scenario that he described, but it, I think it was his mom. That was the problem. If I remember correctly, I think it was his mom. That was the problem. Um, but at the same time, this is probably going to devastate him if he even gets this news, because it seems like Pete decided Oh, we're, we're, you know, he, he took up the, the package. He doesn't know what it is, but he took it up. I'm wondering if he's going to leave it for him or he's going to throw it out or maybe he'll look into it to see what it is himself. And then, you know, thinking that is something special and then finding out this, what it is. And then he's going to have to figure out a way to tell Don about his brother because him not knowing is, is you know, what I'm saying his brother killed himself. I mean, <sighs> I don't know what the brother has been going through. He's probably been looking for this guy, his older brother that he looks up to for all this time. And then when he meets him, he's like, I don't want to have nothing to do with you. You know what I'm saying? And that's devastating. That can, that can devastate it. I can see why he killed himself. Doesn't make it right, <laughs> but I can see why that would send you into a very, you know, weird space, psychological place. It's just, it's, it, 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 it's, it can, it can be devastating to hear that from somebody, from a sibling, a blood sibling for that matter. That's, it, you know what I'm saying? Um, but some people, some people are just not strong enough to handle that because maybe it's not like he just wanted someone and he probably just never had anyone, probably don't have no friends and, and any, and, and stuff like that. And then the one person that you thought, you know what, if I could just find him. I'm be, I'm gonna be all right. And you finally meet him, meet up with him again. And he says, he don't want to have nothing to do with you. And that could, you know, push you overboard. You know what I'm saying? Um, pun on intended there. <laughs> it, it's, it's crazy. 
you know what I mean? But um, it seems like this is how maybe the vibrator came into being. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, with the vibrating, but I was like, ooh. You know what I'm saying? The way it, how she turned that off really quick, I didn't think it was like I, I a little bit there. I thought it was hurting her, but then when I thought about it, I was like, you put a panty on, then you're hearing vibrating sounds. Wouldn't that make them feel good? You know what I mean? Um, so that might you know, make it a little tingle down there. You know, <laughs> you get a little tingle down there. It might not be so, you know. <laughs> Anyways, man, this has been an absolute banger of an episode. Um, Peggy's fat now. And yeah, double chin and everything. She's not sexy Peggy anymore. Yeah. Not good. Not good. <laughs> not good at all. And this was interesting, you know, calling in a person that just have an heart attack just to please a client is never, it's not a good thing to do. And I, and I completely agree with the wife that they should have never, they shouldn't have even allowed that. You get what I'm saying? Should have never allowed that. He just had a heart attack, man. I don't know how long it's been, but it's, you know what I mean? Like it, it's, it's just, you know, you thinking, you know, what could happen? You know what I mean? You thinking like, you know, what could possibly happen? Now he looked like he had a, a, a second attack. Mild, but still an attack nonetheless. Th this is just crazy. This is just crazy. But let's talk about the events that happened in the episode, man. Um, I mean, they, they, could, they could literally... It's kind of like what happened... You know, sure. hey, Google, stop. So the problem is when it, when it comes on to, you know, it, it's kind of like, as I was trying to explain just now, it's kind of like the same thing that happened Nothing's with, right now. It's, <laughs> every time I bring this subject up, my um google assistant is listening to me um it's crazy because this is th the situation is this right it's kind of like the same thing that happened with viagra right viagra was originally developed to be a heart pill but there was this crazy side effect <laughs> it was this crazy side effect that happened when you take the pill right you get real hard for four hours <laughs> right so they just switched the campaign and just started marketing it as a um a treatment for ed so it's just it, it's crazy to me that we're seeing this now because maybe this was meant to burn fat and then they turn around and be like you know what we can market this to the ladies the husbands are out all day every day up to god knows what they could be at home you know what i'm saying they're not getting none they could take care of themselves you know what i mean uh -huh. <laughs> i don't know they might that might be what we're witnessing here that's just my thoughts on that but in any case guys thank you guys so much for tuning in as always man leave a like leave a comment catch you guys for the next one peace